and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some overwhelm aggro. Uh, this is going to be a deck that's has a has a stipulation to it. Okay, so it's not just like your normal um, Sedwani overwhelm Noxus deck. This deck for every single unit, whenever you type in the word overwhelm into the search bar, the ones that that show up, those are the only units we were allowed to play. So we we do have Blade Squire, Rune Weaver, and so like when you do that, if you kind of look, you don't have very many choices for early units, and so we kind of had to go Blade Squire, Rune Weaver for the Reforge um, to kind of help us out, because um, otherwise like like this is basically it for for one two three, and so therefore we're going Riven also with our other champion, because there's a lot of good top end things with Overwhelm. So we didn't really need like another top end champion. So Riven's going to be our other champion. And then, let's see, at four mana, we got a couple of Wolf Rider. It's not like my favorite card um, because if, you, if you're not able to get the extra mana gem with the Plunder, then you're just playing an expensive Iron Ballista at four mana. Um, but we're also playing Ancient Yetis. And Ancient Yeti is, is basically a four drop because if you have Ancient Yeti in your opening hand, by round four, it'll have three cost reductions and it'll be a four mana, five, five overwhelm. So we can kind of think of like this, the Ancient Yeti also helping the four uh, mana slot. Um, and then, you know, we'll have Scar Maiden at five, one Tusk Rider, because that card's just really cool to go along with Sejuani and a couple of Captain Farons to help finish the job out. As far as spells go, we have to play Wild Claws, right? <laughs> this is our only spell with overwhelm. Um, you know, like the, the deals with that, you know, there's other spells that like grant overwhelm, like your pack mentality or like give it for a round like that and might and things like that. We don't really need those with all of our units already having overwhelm, but we got, so we got a couple of wild claws and then some things that help us win combat. Um, Culling strikes just a great removal spell right now. Uh, Azir is everywhere. Thresh really good to hit um, those with Culling strike. Ezreal also. Um, and then uh, sharpened resolve, whirling death. Awesome cards, especially Whirling Death, is great to get rid of a blocker, um, but it's also good either way in combat. Sharp Resolve Solve help our stuff stay alive. Same with Troll Chant. Troll Chant can help out the Culling Strikes, so. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So we're, we're getting Wild Claws in it. All right, so this is Overwhelm Aggro. Everything Overwhelm. Should be pretty exciting to play. We're building a deck around a keyword. Let's see how we do. So Turn 1 Zoe, you said this is by far your favorite archetype, but you're I thought you were all about Turn 1 Zoe. Like, you even made your username and everything turn one, Zoe. But this is your favorite archetype? It's a good favorite archetype to have. I'm just confused. Alright, Mono Targon. Captain Farron is kind of like the anti-Targon card, because they, you know, like they're just going to be invoking and everything with Aurelian Soul. But I still kind of want to mulligan it. Yeah, I think we mulligan it. I don't know, I, I could see keeping that Captain Farron. Oh, because, yeah, you're going turn one Zoe with Draven and with Wild Claws. Hey, <laughs> you play Zoe because I love being annoying. So keeping uh, Culling Strike, of course, because of Zoe. shall start we got our noxus board perk for overwhelm we got the basilisk definitely an overwhelm guardian we got the beast for our, our card back we are set up Playing against Mono Invoke. A mind and open heart greet the night. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and calling, you know, play another ballista and calling strike this. Wow, Claws just takes up too much of my turn for only one extra XX excess damage. We can save Wow Claws for 
you know, having a big overwhelm on like a one health thing and do a lot of excess damage. We must take action. Well, that's pretty good. Change is coming. All right, cool. So they did not have like a fail cascade to kill my overwhelm. Let's get him. Boo. Hush. The bane of overwhelmed decks everywhere. Ooh, Targon's Peak. Well, well, well. We got zero mana Sejuani. That's not bad. Zero mana really until maybe a little better. Let's rock. Let's not. Bow to no one. The thing is, is like I could kind of kill a Aurelian Soul if I, you know, like if I had Frostbite, like the Lunari Priestess, maybe they attack with the 10-10. I have like full chance and Whirling Death. I could kind of kill it. The mountain speaks to those who listen. Join the hunters, they said. Break the strong, slaughter the weak. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Yeah, which wild claws is a fast spell. I wish it was a fast spell. All right, time to send in all the overwhelm. We have nine, thirteen other overwhelm. You were misguided. Do not stray. So right now that puts them down to three. That really and soul looks different. All right, so that puts them to three. To put them to one. Which is the most damage I can do right now. I think they're looking for that Aurelian Soul Champion spell. Okay, that, that's gonna do it. I was kind of deciding whether or not to use the Troll Chant. Um, and I, I was going to. I, I decided, yes, let's use Troll Chant. I was gonna break up Spell Shield and save one of my things but yeah so we're just gonna have wow claws play end that out oh were they at zero i thought they were at one okay i guess i math wrong i guess they're if they're at zero what do we have here a really uh misfortune i kind of like all this stuff Lower hand, but that's all right. Saving my spell me on the first two turns. The strong don't want mercy. Bleh. Join the hunters, they say. Finally, some action. Favors the bold. I'll be damned. So 
But now I don't have Wolf Rider plus Whirling Death. Okay. We can have this thing plus Whirling Death. Or we just don't need Whirling Death. No. I'll still play this though, because I will be able to save three spell mana for future rounds for Whirling Death, where if I play the Wolf Rider, I don't have that. Double Taskmaster. I'll show the hunters. Looking rough. Oh, you're in for it. Oh, you'll scream. They would have just switched those blocks, they would have saved an additional point of life. <laughs> Blade fragment give overwhelm. Everything has overwhelm. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Well then. Bow to no one. By frostbiting that, I'm basically just taking six. If I, you know, frostbite one of those, then, you know, like we can use like Sharpen Resolve or something like that. Combat. Is there, their board's already filled. I have six mana worth of spells, which would be an additional four I could spend. Could just Wolf Rider post combat. Probably worth playing that. Drive them before us, Era. The Winter's Claw! Thank you, a looker. It will be done. Focus. Focus. So down, down to three, I could have gone for lethal with the Whirling Death, but I just feel like they would have had something to stop me. Our will rival the War Mothers. And so I was hoping to use the Whirling Death on defense against a Droplet. Give me grace enough to mask my doubts. Leave no survivors. So they would have been able to stop that. Alright, not lethal. Next time. Not lethal quite yet. A fine new scar. The snow. I realistically I should just be open attacking. Save them. More death. Okay, we are two and O. Oh. Overwhelm aggro. Does everything overwhelm? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Uh oh. Lissandra Trundle. They have, you know, frostbite and removal for big stuff. Let's see. Kinda wanna keep all this. Yeah. So Coling Strike, of course, for Lissandra. 
Um, Rune Weaver for a two drop. The, probably this plus three plus two to help save from like Avalanche or you know like make this Iron Ballista even bigger. Have it like get through a Trundle. Play Ruthless Raider because they could play Avaros and Sentry, which would be, which would not be good for me. But they could have Avaros and Sentry, so unfortunately they did. So if they if they do, we get two damage to Lacrosse with the Overwhelm. a good card. Words of power linger in the air. Rune Weaver just lets me keep all of my three mana spells available. <laughs> we got the Overwhelmed Blade Fragment again. <laughs> oh, that's kind of the... <laughs> the, the least useful one. So they've had a perfect turn two, turn three. Whoa, they're just actually playing Frozen Thrall. Not expecting that. I think that's Flash Freeze. That's my guess. So I definitely don't want to just Whirling Death. I guess it could be Troll Chant or Vile Feast. Yeah, I guess Vile Feast is also an option. Great hand. Double Tavern Keeper. Good. That's a good top end card. King of Trolls coming through. Pillage and burn. Hey, that Pandora's doing good. We're having some fun playing uh, meme, you know, meme tier decks today. We got an all overwhelm deck right now. All right, time to attack and have some combat tricks. Like if if you gave Trundle overwhelm, that, that's Scar Maiden Reaver. <laughs> it's like so Scar Maiden Reaver just better Trundle. I think that they're setting up uh, for Avalanche. That's what they're thinking about. I just wish we had a lot more mana. Withering Whale. One damage to my stuff. That's not as good. They really had an awesome defensive hand. Sentry, Tavern Keeper, Tavern Keeper, Trundle. Then Withering Whale. Our best draws are... Or Captain Farron's. We got a couple of those. Yeah, they've healed for, you know, nine. <laughs> they've healed for a lot. What will you have? All three tavern keepers? See the world Yuck. from behind a basilisk. We really need Captain Farron's. How about that? Some action. Hey, look at 
angry. Let's talk about your dad. So if Whirling Death doesn't work, like if they use, they could use like Frostbite spell or something like that, it's pretty rough. So if I let this damage happen, they go down to 12. Whirling Death like that. No, it's not worth it. That's why I don't want to, like, Ancient ancient Yeti Whirling Death is my best play, but I don't want to do that play because it really opens me up to Vengeance and Frostbite card. The latest expansion, one of my favorite cards. I'd have to kind of look through them. I'm not sure off the top of my head from just from the latest expansion. I can tell you what my favorite deck is right now. My favorite deck's the Howling Abyss deck. Uh, Howling Abyss Control that we played the other day on stream. That's my favorite deck. The Abyss Control. I'm really enjoying that one. Oh, Chip? Yeah, Chip. Okay, yeah. I didn't think about Chip. Yep. See, that's why I kind of had to look at it like a list. But yeah, Chip would be right there. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, if they did have freeze, they were they were sure waiting on it. They were sure waiting on playing it if they did have it. Not sure if they did or not. We're one mana short from threatening double decimate. I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> one troll to rule them all. So you guys assume they're going to play both Ice Pillars and then play Alessandra. And so my plan is to Culling Strike the Alessandra. Yeah, they got me. I guess I had to cooling strike with one of the O6s first. I wish I didn't play the Decimate. And I could have um, troll chant cooling strike and kill the trundle kill the trundle. That got me pretty good. Okay, so back to somebody who won't heal their Nexus for 15 or whatever they healed. Or something like that. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't a line that I was expecting. Fight or die. All right, time to be aggro. It's my time. And that trades that trades okay. Not the best trade in the world, but it's just fine. Words of power linger in the air. What we get? Quick attack. Explosives primed. In position. Boom. I've got the ranks. Run while you can. Thank you. 
Hmm. You're not exactly a four drop. Ancient magic, new play. Patience paid off. Kill that before taking three. Oh, this hurts. Blast them. Behind ya. Silly thing. gonna go ahead and play this because we want to uh like we're gonna be spending a lot of mana other turns so we want to just use our mana right now i could see them casting mystic shot on the rune weaver oh they had that all right that's fine i was gonna say i could see them mystic shot and then i troll chant to save and that would be nice all right down to 12. They don't have too much life either. I got ways to find me mushroom. If only we could play like Wow Claws this round also. <laughs> oh, well, that's a right there. All right, they're just taking it. Down to seven. They are hoping to hit me for four. Victory requires a sharp blade. Get that spicy wild claws wolf rider combo. We're not actually gonna play wolf rider this round, but we're gonna play whirling death and troll chant. Wild claws. That's really fun to say. Wild claws. <laughs> uh yeah. Remember me. This should be fast speed. If concerted strike is fast speed, that should be fast speed. Alright. Now, Captain Unfarin. And the opponent concedes anyway. GG's. Alright, three and one. We'll break the siege. Okay, Ezreal Swain. We lost to the other control deck, but they kinda had like this combo finish with the two trundles, and I and they also had healing for twelve or fifteen. Something like that. All right, sorry, Wild Claws. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan you, but I, I like the the two three. This is our first time seeing Riven, and perfect time to draw Ancient Yeti. Thermogenic Beam for three. Cooling Strike. Well, I'd rather like a Cooling Strike than Riven. If we get to choose. I think it's worth it. Yeah. Finally, peace. Ravenous Flock's just going to do a ton of damage at some point anyway. Alright, now we have the two man for Troll Chant. Hmm. 
I save it, it just has one health. Playing the long game. The winter's claw strikes. Mm. I really did have those thermogenic beams. Alright, Captain Farron on top, please. Captain Farron on top. Now we'll play Wolf Rider, we'll ramp one, so we'll have eight mana next round. What matchups are favorite for Ezreal Draven is the deck hard to play, like can a new player play it? It's not bragging yeah, I think a new player up. can play it. Can't stop me. Um, the hard matchups are like the, could be the Targon ones, that have enough. Uh, man, I can't really just wow claws and let them... Man, this needs to be fast speed. Why is this card not fast speed? Let them just use two removal spells. Yeah, usually like like big overwhelms can definitely be tough. Like the, the real large units can be tough. But lots of card you know, lots of card advantage in it. It's a great deck. Lots of really efficient spells. With Ravenous fl Flock and the like. Alright, so they tapped out of their mana. No Got a wild claws in there. And there it is. Captain Fairrun. Man, I wanted them to play another Captain Fair, and it looks like they're just gonna play something that stuns. That unfortunately stuns my Captain Farron. Yeah, Static Shock's perfect. That is perfect. That is just, just perfect. Well, great turn for them. But I, I did top deck Captain Farron. Wow. And then able to get rid of the leading guillotine to get an additional card. That's quite nice. Um, if they have so if they if they have Leviathan, it's over. Okay. Got rid of some cards that don't really matter. got this yeah we do yeah we do there we go four and one they did not have the leviathan if they had that leviathan they would have won but they did not and our big overwhelm units ended up getting there we had the perfect amount of mana to be able to play our our tusk rider and the five five of the yeti as well 
So there we go. Big monsters too scary. He got a nice 4-1. And kind of a surprising loss, the one that we did lose to the Trundle deck. I wasn't really expecting it, but you know, they had that rekindler that got me that I wasn't expecting. You know, like they they weren't normal um Lissandra Trundle for sure, but they had an awesome hand against me with having all three, you know, going turn two century, best card they could have, and then um all three tavern keepers just healing their nexus that was a it was a really clutch withering whale you know they had a great hand so we lost one but we won the other four drew captain farron twice that trundle game and then that last one at the late game when we needed it but yeah i think for having the restrictions of only playing cards again again like this deck once you type in overwhelm those are the only units that we could play. It's just units that show up on this page. <laughs> we couldn't play anything else. Um, so having that kind of restriction, I think that we did have a, a really well put together deck in it. I think it worked out pretty well with the curve, even though, you know, it's not really too many good cards early on in the curve. I think we made it work quite well. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. So that's Overwhelm Aggro. Turned out Overwhelm still strong. <laughs> yeah, Squire and Runeweaver don't have Overwhelm, but they show up when you when you type in Overwhelm because they can reforge and get you Overwhelm um, Blade Fragments. So they, they still show up. So that's why we're able to play them um, and have just a couple of things early. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Overwhelm Aggro. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, leave those comments. Hopefully you're having fun on Meme Tier Monday. Also, uh, just or Meme Tier Tuesday today. <laughs> to kind of remind y'all, we have Karma Spotlight tomorrow. So we're going to be playing three Karma decks. That Whenever we chose our random champion, it was Karma. Uh, so that's going to be tomorrow's schedule. Um, but yeah, leave those comments. Those comments really help out the YouTube views, and so I always really appreciate them. All right, but that's going to be it here for Overwhelm Aggro. So thank you so much for watching, and th thanks to Puppy for hanging out. <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. How exciting was that? <laughs>